Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today's message is about the power of obedience. The power of obedience. Great manifestations are not just products of information. They are products of applied information. There is a saying that goes that knowledge is power. But I believe that knowledge is not power. It is applied knowledge that is power. Knowledge is potential power. It is the knowledge that you apply that becomes power for you. In the narrative of the feeding of the 5,000, excluding women and children, the Bible says that Jesus knew what to do, but knowing what to do did not multiply the loaves. The fact that you know what to do does not guarantee success. For instance, I know that I have to love my wife, but until I actually show my love in action, there will be no peace in my house. So it is not enough to have knowledge. Many of us have knowledge, but it is not producing any desired results because we don't apply that knowledge. Then Jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. When Jesus was confronted with the problem of a hungry crowd. He took the loaves and he gave thanks to God and he distributed them. What Jesus actually did was that he put what he knew into practice. So it is information plus action that equals obedience. Equally, information minus action causes disobedience at any point in your life you are either obeying god or disobeying god so what does it mean to live in obedience obedience is to hear god's word and act accordingly it is practical adherence to god's instruction it is doing what you know Obedience is the act of following duly what the Bible says, irrespective of your present circumstances. Obedience is simply taking God's word as your final authority in your life. To hear God's word without obeying it will not produce anything in your life. For whoever hears these words of mine and puts them into action will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. Friends, obedience is the shortest access to the blessings of God. For if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Financial crisis is a function of disobedience, not economic circumstances. Whenever you feel that you are under pressure and that things are not working for you, check whether or not you are obeying God or disobeying God. More often than not, it's as a result of disobedience in giving of tithes and offerings. You can be a treasurer, an altar server, or a prayer warrior, but if you walk in disobedience, things will not work for you. God doesn't answer the prayers of those who walk in disobedience. The Bible says, Husbands, love your wives. Wives, submit to your husbands. Whenever couples are fighting 
and arguing and bickering and insulting each other because there is no love and submission while at the same time they will be praying for peace that prayer will not be answered because the couple are walking in disobedience to God's word obedience to God and his word is the fastest way to move the hand of God in your life to move the hand of God in that hopeless situation obedience is the fastest way to move the hand of God in that challenging situation that you are facing the bible says to obey is better than sacrifice than fat of rams there is a common mistake many people make people mistake intentions for good actions good intention is willingness let me explain what i mean if you are willing and obedient you shall eat the fruit of the land willingness is good intention so even if I have good intention and I don't obey, I will not be fruitful. For instance, you may have good intention to visit or telephone your friend or your family member or someone else. You may have good intention to greet your neighbor and say hello. You may have good intention to tell people about Jesus Christ and invite them to church. You may have good intention to give financially to support the ministry of the church. These are all good intentions. But until you do them, until you actually and intentionally do them, you will not be fruitful. So good intention alone is not enough because God will not bless you because of your good intention but he will bless you because of your obedience to his word and to his will coming to church is not enough hearing the word of God is not enough believing the word of God is not enough but you have to act upon what you believe and what you hear that is what will bring fruitfulness into your life i declare that as you obey god and his word may your obedience change and transform your life may your obedience to god and his word change your story may your obedience change the course of your destiny let us pray Heavenly Father, we thank you for today and we thank you for your message. We thank you for helping us to learn about obedience. We pray that you continue to inspire us as we learn to live in obedience to you and for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I am on TikTok now. I will send you the link in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and YouTube and share this message. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>